We're just um, painting baby's nursery because we need to get a, a move on on this stuff. When you're having a baby, like, you gotta move how you can move, you know what I'm saying? So, all the free time that we get and stuff, we're just trying to get it painted. We're painting it gray, so it'll be gray. Um, and I don't, I haven't decided exactly on my colors yet, but I know that gray is one of my favorite colors. Like, gray and white is always my scheme. So for him, we might do like gray, white, and I don't know. But yeah, so we are painting Baby Boy's what Nursery. And I will show you guys what it looks like when we finish. Everybody. welcome back to the channel it's Brene so today I thought I would do a nursery tour for you guys and show you all what all I have in baby boys nursery thus far um, and show you guys where I got everything and all that good stuff um, it's probably gonna be really quick I still have a lot of stuff left to purchase and get not a lot but just some finishing touches that I haven't been able to get to um, because it's just been so busy but um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys what all I have in here and talk about a little bit where I got everything at. I am 39 weeks and I think three days. So he can literally come anytime that he wants to. I'm due this weekend, yeah. So he can come whenever he wants to. Um, so you guys will be meeting him soon. I'll be meeting him soon, me and his dad. We're just so excited. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you guys everything that we've done and all that good stuff. So let's go. So we're gonna start with his crib. Um, Shout out to his grandmother. She bought, um, Andrew's mom bought this crib and we purchased it on, at Bye Bye Baby actually. Um, I can't remember the brand, but we purchased it at Bye Bye Baby and I want it white. Um, so we really like this one. We have his mattress as well. Um, and these are Burt's Bees. This is a Burt's Bee sheet. I got the sheet at I'm sorry, I got the sheet on Amazon and the mattress we purchased at Bye Bye Baby as well. So for infants, you want their mattresses to be pretty firm because their bones are so so soft. It just helps and assists with their developing bones and all that good stuff. This is also um, an ergonomical headrest, so it just helps prevent babies having flat head. I don't know if we'll be using this, but I purchased it just in case and I just have it laying in the crib. He also has a little Pluto dog. Hi, little Pluto. I don't really care for Pluto. I really like Pooh Bear, but the Disney store was sold all out of Pooh Bear. So we put a little Pluto in here for now to match with the little yellow thing, the mustard. Um, I still got a lot to get in terms of mustard. And this will only be in here for decoration. Of course, when baby begins sleeping and napping in his crib, we will not be keeping anything else in here but a sheet and him. <laughs> So spare me please with the comments, thanks. All right, next up we've got these clouds that um, I had my hubby put up here for me. We purchased these from Ikea. Um, and we just thought it was like a cute little touch, you know, something just to be mounted up top. We also have his little monitor. I don't wanna move it because we have it in the perfect, perfect spot, but it's a baby cocoon cam and it's really cool because you can work it from your phone. So yeah, we have this little baby cocoon monitor. And if you guys want, I will link all this stuff as much as possible below, okay? Next up, we got his little cloud, um, his little cloud, so for nighttime diaper changes, um, just a little night light. If it's dark or it's nighttime, I can just change them on this little changing pad. This is a sum summer infant changing pad, and then I got the changing pad cover from Bye Bye Baby, and this is like, absorbent so if he pees on it or whatever it you know you can wash it and it won't give you like an issue it also has a little strap on it so he can't roll off of it if i have to walk to the closet while he's over here i can strap him down and he's not going anywhere i doubt that i'll use this changing pad but then again i'm like i'm putting to use everything we purchased so yes i'm gonna turn off these little lights little cloud lights um we also got this changing table at ikea um, I will find the link for it and I'll link it. But we got the changing table at Ikea and then underneath here I just have some newborn diapers. 
I don't know that he'll be in them very long, but newborn diapers, I've got some honest wipes. So he has diapers, his bath stuff. Um, this is the Dr. Bronner's baby soap. I love Dr. Bronner's. Me and his dad use Dr. Bronner's, so we're gonna use that on his skin. It's one of the cleanest soaps you can find. I don't think I'm gonna be using this Aveeno lotion, but it's in here. Um, so these are all things for like his grooming, butt paste, um, <laughs> some other rash cream, just different little things that we might need. This is all his medicines if he ever needs them. So gripe water, if baby gets colic, um, mucus and cold relief. He's not gonna ever be sick, but vitamin D drops. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I'm up on my vitamin D too, so he doesn't have to really worry about it. Then the little Medi Frida, I heard that this thing is like a lifesaver, so yeah. We've also got some receiving blankets, so after diaper changes, if he needs a blanket put on him, we've got some mouth diapers in there, in case he spits up or whatever the case, or if I'm breastfeeding him, I can just grab a diaper and put it on my shoulder. Got a bunch of different pacifiers in here. Um, I don't know which ones he's gonna like. We got the vanilla ones. We've got regular ones. We've got Philips Event. We've got the MAM ones. These glow in the dark. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but so many different pacifiers. Um, some socks. He has more socks in the closet, but I just figured I'd start with a few down here. Socks and booties. He's got a bunch of hats. So let me move this. He's got a bunch of hats down here and mittens for his little hands so he doesn't scratch himself up when he first gets here. Oh, and a bunch of hats and then a couple bibs down here. Most of his bibs are in the closet hanging up, but we've got a couple down here. We've also got a bunch of newborn onesies for my baby. So these are just the ones that he'll wear around the house. Y'all know how I feel about certain onesies. So these are the ones that he'll wear around the house. He can spit up on. we got some joggers down here. Um, and we'll just see how long he even stays in this stuff. I think these are zero to three right here. Are these zero to three? Yeah. Um, so these are zero to three back here and then these are newborns. So we'll see if he even fits in the newborns or if he goes straight to zero to three. Babies grow so fast so you just never know. Then we've also got his bath stuff. So a bunch of washcloths over here. He's got a bunch of towels, hooded towels for him. Um, and he won't be taking a bath of course until his umbilical cord falls off completely. But... Yeah, that is basically it for his changing table. I still need to get a crib skirt, but I've been looking for a mustard color skirt to match those right there. And I just haven't been able to find one, but I'm gonna find one, I'm on the hunt. Here we've got the diaper genie. So this is, if I have to change his diaper in here, his changing table is literally right here. Throw it right there. And this holds up to like 270 diapers, I think. So that's pretty good. Um, without having to run them downstairs, up and down the stairs, or having to sit them in the room for a little bit because I'm too tired to run downstairs or whatever. So, Diaper Genie, and I bought this on Amazon as well, and I will link it. He has a little gallery wall here, and we just kind of filled this up with sayings that we believed in, so be kind and stay humble. Once again, we've got Pluto here. <laughs> then we've got, if the music is too loud, you're too old and we just thought that was kind of cute because it's a baby room you know so if the music is too loud you too old you gotta go um we've got the sign that says you got this um uh, because he does have this his life is going to be amazing we have my goal is to create a life that i don't need a vacation from so we definitely want to set the tone um you know that he he loves his life and he's not going to have to take frequent vacations to get away from things because he hates his life he's going to love his life so and then work hard, play hard. We're definitely gonna instill that in him. You know, be a hard worker, a smart worker, but you play hard too, baby. So if you wanna take a vacation, do it big. <laughs> Next up, we've got my little breastfeeding corner right here. Um, this little thing was a gift from a old teacher of mine. She does, I think, doTERRA or doTERRA oils. And so she gave us this little diffuser for him. Um, and so we can just put oil, essential oils and all that good stuff in there for him. This little light is what I like to call my breastfeeding light. And this is for at nighttime when I sit in this chair right here, I can just turn the switch on right here and I can actually see, um, instead of having a super duper bright light on all night over his head, he might be like, mom, turn that off. 
Um, and then we've got this little hatch thing. So I'm gonna turn it on and you guys will hear. It's a white noise machine and it plays like all kind of white noise. It has the dryer, it has um, the dryer sound, it has regular white noise, it has the, I think, rain or the ocean or something like that. It's pretty cool, so I'm gonna turn it off. And it also comes with light, so that's cool too. So when he's napping, we will be playing this for him. And then to change it, you just do like this. And then that's silence. And then white noise again. And to turn it off, you just do to hold it down to turn it off. You hold it down to turn it off. So this is called the Hatch Baby Nightlight and sound machine and it's actually pretty cool. It has a pretty decent speaker and on the bottom um, is where you can turn it up or down. You can change the color of the light, all that good stuff. But you can also control it from your iPhone app so you don't have to worry about like trying to flip it over and turn it up and down. You just pull up your phone and you control it from there. This little table's from Ikea. And it was just a cheap little $19 table, just something to have. Um, so if I'm feeding him or I need a place to put wipes or I need to set something down, it's right next to me. This chair, <clears throat> so these little nursing chairs, you guys, are expensive, first of all. But let me tell you, I found this one in Kmart for $99. So you guys know Kmart was going out of business and at the time, it was like a couple months ago, my aunt was like, hey, Kmart's going out of business and I know that they have a lot of baby stuff on sale. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll find a chair. Lo and behold, went into Kmart and I found a chair. So yeah, this chair's from Kmart and it's only 99 bucks. I'll see if I can find it um, and link it below. These shears, so I was having the hardest time. I wanted mustard shears. I could not find, I don't know why I can't find mustard anywhere, but these shears are from um, Walmart actually. And they were like, I think like $5 a panel, maybe 10. So that's pretty cool. So I told you guys this was like my little breastfeeding corner, you know? So right here I have my nursing station and I know I've showed you guys this probably before. I've got my water in here so when I'm nursing him, I can just pull it. I've got a mouth diaper in here so if he decides to spit up, it's right there. When I finish nursing, I've got some little um, nursing pads. I've got some snacks in there, protein bars and some sweets just to keep my energy up. And yeah, perfect nursing station. <laughs> Next up we have his little rockaroo. And we purchased this, um, well his grandma got him this, but um, she purchased it at, I think, Bye Bye Baby. Um, but we purchased it online because Bye Bye Baby doesn't have this one in the store. So the way it works is you just turn it on. Oh, and there it goes. And then you can just turn up the intensity of how much you want it to rock. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of motion to us, but for babies it's everything. <laughs> The thing I like about these Rockaroos and Mamaroos is that they have auxiliary. So I can plug my phone up to here and play whatever music I want to. The speaker is not that good on it, but um, yeah, at least it has a place to play music. <laughs> Next, let's go to his little book station. So I've got a succulent. This is an aloe succulent. It's an indoor plant, so it just helps to purify the air. So that's in his little room. We've got some hand sanitizer for people who come over and maybe want to hold him. They're gonna wash and sanitize their hands. Yes, every single time they touch him. We've also got a book, God Loves Me, and this is a little ultrasound of his side profile, his little face. So God Loves Me, the little Bible book. We've got Dr. Seuss, Mr. Brown Can Moo, Can You. We've got Baby Shark, oh my gosh. I wanna keep that book hidden forever. Um, and another book back there, The Pigeon Needs a Bath, Sleep Baby. We've got an animal book that has kind of like textures and stuff so he can touch them. We have a food book that teaches him about different foods and then silly monkeys. So just a few books to start off reading him. And then we've got his little teepee. I purchased this on walmart.com. Once again, Walmart coming through clutch. I don't really shop at Walmart, but ever since I've been pregnant, I've been realizing Walmart has everything and everywhere else has nothing. So here's this little teepee. Um, and if you open it up, oh my goodness. Has a little window in here. <laughs> I don't know what he's looking at, but there's a little window in there. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and close it back if I can yeah we'll get you closed so yeah his little TP got it from Walmart and I will link it if I can if I can't find it on Walmart's website I'll find it on Amazon and link it and then we have these little extra seating areas I bought these at, at home I probably won't be able to link these because I think only at home carries them but yeah they were like 40 bucks each and it's just for additional seating or I can pull it over to the um, rocking chair and put my feet up on it so yeah and lastly his little gray rug and I'm actually thinking about changing this rug out to a mustard rug or mustard and white to bring some more color in here because it's kind of just you know grayed out which I love I love the neutral but I think I need <clears throat> some more color and I bought this rug at, at home as well so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what all is in his little room for now um baby boy will be here anytime now so make sure you guys are keeping up with me on instagram at it's Brene, okay so you guys can see because i'm sure i will post it there before i post it on youtube because it's so much easier to take a picture than it is to film a video um i'm gonna do my best to vlog my labor and delivery i'm gonna try i'm not gonna vlog anything but i'll try to have my husband do it um but bear with us you know i'm really not that i don't Certain things I like to keep private, so I may or may not vlog that. I'll do my best though. Um, and I think that's it. So you guys will be meeting baby boy here soon. I can't wait. And um, hope y'all enjoy this video. See you later.